Oh boy, now we're getting to the good stuff. Also, there's a special announcement at the end of this video, so stay tuned afterwards to see what it is. Cave Island, being the last outer island you most likely get completed, has some of the most interesting and fun stuff to talk about. The amount of passion that was put into this one specifically sh really shows in the song's composition. Now, here's the thing. Does that make it a good song? Well, mayhaps. Let us find out. Like usually, we're going to start with the worst, and third place in that aspect is Quibble. One really big issue with this thing is the fact that its rhythm just doesn't work. It borderlines unlistenably bad during the loud verse, and its addition to the soft verse is just kind of minimalistic. The worst part is, if the rhythm just made sense and worked the way they wanted it to, this monster easily could have been OP. It's just really poorly executed. Second worst is probably a controversial thing to say, but let's be honest, it's Flog. People seem to give Flog's cave track way too much credit simply because it's Flog doing something it doesn't usually do, but I think that's unfair to how bad this actually sounds. Flog's timber just does not work for a melody. It is, and always will be, exclusively good as a supporting transitional vocal. It isn't designed to be a good melodic voice, and it just doesn't work that way. And even if it did work as a voice, it still wouldn't be as good as the others in composition, since it's just really, really boring. It plays with no flair, no rhythm, it's just the beginning of every beat. Wow, so cool. And the obvious worst sin of this monster is how it covers up two amazing, perfect, but just godlike monsters that do everything it doesn't do. The worst monster on Cave is one of the newest additions, and it being the worst is something you'd really never guess on first glance given its track record on previous islands. That monster is Riff. Now, the first track isn't too bad. The opening uses it well and it sets up the scene for Cave Island perfectly. It's the second track that ruins everything. The loud verse of the song is super loaded with tons of monsters, and most of them just don't mesh with each other at all. They all are just off doing their own thing and not working together to form any sort of coherent melody. Riff is the prime example of this since its loud blaring chord thrashing just mesh out everything else and turns what was once a controlled chaos into white noise. I don't understand why BBB adds these monsters to Cave Island just to put them in the one verse that doesn't need anything more, especially when the ending of the song is more empty than Party Island's intro. Dishonorable mentions include the following monsters. Barb is probably the worst monster in MSM history, not gonna sugarcoat it. It's not because it's bad on every island, but it's just so boring on every island. It doesn't do anything bad, but it just does next to nothing. Every single time, it's just unimpressive, and it's as unimpressive as unimpressive gets. And that's the biggest sin of all. Wink doesn't really do anything good on Cave Island either, but it also doesn't do anything bad. It's just kind of doing its own thing, and I can appreciate that. Thumpies, like always, tend to disappoint with minimalistic inclusion and unimpressive sounds. However, this time, I like the melody, so that's something at least. So, from the way I described the bad parts of Cave Island, you probably think this series is just evolving into Every Island Sucks, Go Home. But, as we get into the best monsters, you'll see that we're about ready to break this cycle. The third best monster is Krillby, who overall is just an almost perfect monster. I honestly can't find a single fault with it. It's beautiful sound on a beautiful composition with a beautiful design. They did an ocarina and they did an ocarina right, with its supported melody playing perfectly with one of the worst monsters to make it a combined great track, which is something rarely ever done. It also just plays the perfect complementary notes to something else, but we're gonna get to that in a second. All in all, Krillby is just a flawlessly executed masterpiece of a monster that is taught by very little, and that's just the third place. Second place is the return of one of my favorite all-time monsters, and in this instance particularly, it is alone my favorite all-time single track for any monster in the entirety of both games, Flugel. 
the bombastic tone, triumphant tune, the rich sound, it all comes together to make one of the most powerful sounding tracks to exist in the game. It's also an outlier for Flugel specifically, since on every other island it's on, it carries this sense of whimsy with it, an upbeat tempo that barely sits still rhythmically. On Cave, however, it's going full chords with tons of long notes that don't give you any breaks, going out of its comfort zone while still being distinctly Flugel. Absolutely masterfully composed and put together, few to none beat it, and it's only second. First place is straight up one of the best monsters MSM has to offer, and I am officially calling this a call to arms now. People have been sleeping on this one forever, and after taking a deeper look at it, I can safely call it one of, if not the greatest single monsters in MSM history. This monster, the one that stands above all others, is by Sonorous. I don't even know where to begin with this one, man. But I gotta start somewhere, so how about we talk about that rhythm? Bisonorous's rhythm is nothing short of a miracle. The almost syncopated feel that its melody has is so darn catchy and interesting. Mixed in with tons of triplets to accent it, and the Emperor giving bars strong conclusions with its pseudo echo. That alone makes this amazing. Next up is the vocal performance, and you know vocals are good when you really can't tell who voiced it. Seriously, this monster sounds so distinct compared to every other monster, it honestly, it honestly could be a completely new person, and I'd be none the wiser. Lastly is the melody itself, and holy oh my lord, it's interesting. The way it combos its notes with Caribbean Flog is on another plane of existence. It shouldn't even be possible that it works as well as it does. Overall, everything about Bisonorous' track is perfection in the form of a fat Muppet knockoff with a Monsters Inc. reject on its back. Oh, and yeah, its design is also perfect. I'm not even going to go into it because this segment is already long enough. Honorable mentions include the following monsters. Bogart is always OP. The only reason it's not in the top 3 this time around is because, I mean, come on, look at that top 3. Shellbeat carries percussion hardcore like it's never carried before, and the polyrhythmic flair it adds to the song is amazing. For those of you who don't know, polyrhythm is when two parts of the song are played in different time signatures. Shellbeat plays a 4-4 rhythm, but mostly everything else plays a 6-8 rhythm. If you really want to see what I mean, listen to Bogart and Shellbeat alone and count their beats. Mamet and Kana duet together absolutely flawlessly. Together they are realistically better than Kroby, but Kroby is higher because it doesn't need another monster to be flawless. So Cave Island is really, really, really hard to talk about in a ranked fashion. It's a really not great kind of bad song in its current state because of the loud verse, but it's one of those cases where looking past that is absolutely worth it because what it has to show you at its best is some of, if not the best, MSM has to offer. Plus, the bad parts are few and far between, with the worst parts on this island possibly passing as good parts if they were just used on another island. It seriously is just such a good song at its best. And if you want a testament to how good this song is, soundtrack. Go listen to it. Go worship it. Cave Island is awesome. Because of me hitting 1000 subs, next time will be something completely different, very special. It'll take a lot of effort, so don't expect it to be uploaded in the standard two-week time. Just being honest. It's going to be a review of Gold Island, one of the most important and largest songs we'll have done so far. There will be guest appearances, possibly, and I may rope a couple people into voicing their own segments in the video. We'll see when the time comes. So instead, this vote will go towards the upload we do after it. See you then. Yo, we're ready here. I got it. Cave Island. This is one of the best songs we've done so far. I'm really happy you guys picked this one, and I want to see more good songs. Uh, there's so much good ones in here. I'm just... Cave Island's really good. I don't care if its bad parts are like Wublin Island levels of inaudible. Its best parts are literally just carrying it all the way to A.